please welcome the host of Innovation Showcase, APAC Chief of Staff, Samantha Margolis. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Policy Conference. Welcome to the APAC Village. Welcome to the Innovation Showcase. How about that opening morning session? Have you ever experienced anything like that before? Well, we're so excited to be here with you this morning. We have such a fun morning. More than 100 years ago, Theodore Herzl wrote, if you will it, it is no dream. And since the creation of the modern state, Israelis have been living by those words. They have willed a better world and made those dreams a reality in every facet of our daily lives. From medicine and agriculture, to transportation, energy, water, and cyber technology. And now, just over 70 years after becoming an independent nation, Israel is set to become just the fourth country to land on the moon. Israel's innovation record around the world is nothing short of amazing. Israeli innovations are seen in every aspect of American life as well. Those who truly want to boycott Israeli products would have a pretty hard time getting through their day. Today, you and I will be meeting with some extraordinary Israeli men and women who are working to improve and to even save lives. We will be talking to innovators who are making news and get a glimpse of a startup still in the early stages. Before I introduce our first guest, let's test everyone's knowledge on one of the biggest problems facing our planet. Which of the following is true? A, only 9% of the plastic we use today is being recycled. B, 18 billion pounds of plastic waste flows into the ocean every year. Or C, 40% of plastic is being used just once in packaging. I know, scary. If you guessed that all three of these devastating facts are true, then I am sad to tell you that you are correct. Our first guest was astonished by what she was learning about our, plastics plan our planet's plastic crisis and decided to start a company to do something about it. She is a graduate of the elite Israeli software engineering program and she served as a captain in the Israeli Navy. Now she sets her sights on saving the earth, turning waste into a resource, a crisis into an opportunity. Please welcome the CEO and co-founder of TIPA, Daphna Niesenbaum. Welcome, Daphna. We're so excited to see you. Me too. Thank so before we get into TIPA and what you've created, let's take a step back and just tell us why is plastic so bad? Okay, good question. So there are a few problems with plastic, but the main problem is that it lasts forever. We don't really know because our generation is actually the generation that has been living the first trial of plastic in, using plastic in such a massive way. But the main problem with plastic is that it lasts somewhere between 400 to 1,000 of years. We don't really know. But that, that, that effect actually created a huge crisis in the ocean. We know that. We see that. And that crisis actually put the spotlight, the spotlight on the plastic problem. If we like, see this like, picture, yeah. this is all the plastic in the right. ocean, just like, one picture of it. And that actually caused governments to take action against, against plastic. The World Economic Forum actually published last year, the end of last year, a few very important facts about plastic. The first one is that we have manufactured until today 8.3 billion tons of plastic. 8.3 billion Eight, tons. Right, like in the last 40 years or so. The majority of it was used only once. 5.7 billion tons of plastic right, we saw that was used before. only once. The numbers today is that only 9% is recycled, and from those 9%, only 10% is recycled the second time. So everything that we're putting into our plastic, our recycling bins, a lot of that isn't even being recycled. Right. It's actually just being thrown away. Right. So either it's incinerated, 12% is incinerated, but the majority, 79%, actually is discarded, either in landfills or, or in the ocean, as we see. Now, one more thing to know is that if we continue like this, 
within 20 to 30 years, we're going to manufacture four times more than we've ever manufactured. Four times more in just three decades. Right. And that's going to be a, cri a huge crisis and above human capacity to handle. That's by the World Economic Forum. So you've created a viable solution to right. replace plastic. So tell us how you came up with the idea in the first place. Okay. So uh, a few years ago, I had an argument with one of my kids. And how many kids do you have? I have five kids. Five kids. So I had an argument with one of my kids about the bottle that he used to take to school. And I said, well, we cannot take a bottle every day to school, and we destroy the world, et cetera, et cetera. And I started to learn more about this plastic packaging subject. And one day I went out jogging, and I thought to myself, well, what is, what is the most natural way we treat waste? And the first thing that came to my mind was an apple. Because if I eat an apple and I throw the residuals into the waste bin, it just disintegrates and biodegrades by itself, and I haven't created the damage to the world, and it's kind of vanishing. So the idea was to develop a package that is like, for example, like an orange peel, like organic material, so we can eat or drink the content of the package, and the, back, the package disintegrates and biodegrades exactly like an orange peel. So it's compostable just like anything else would right, be, like any right. other organic material. And, and, and instead of lasting forever, like for a thousand of years, it will disintegrate and biodegrade like an orange peel, and that's within six months. So tell us more about the technology that you created, and I think we actually have a video to show. Okay. So we have developed packaging solutions that are like conventional plastic. So what are we seeing here on the right and the left? So the right-hand side, you can see conventional plastic, and our materials are on the left-hand side. And you can see what happens between, in up to six months. So we have developed technology that it, in one hand has all the good properties of plastic that protects the good for supply chain, shelf life, etc., etc. But at the, at the other hand, it's fully compostable and turns into a soil or a fertilizer into within fertilizer. six months. So just imagine we can take all the plastic that we use and it will turn within six months to a new resource and that's a circular economy approach, actually. It's amazing. So is, absolutely. So tell us about what companies are using your product. Are there any companies that we would know of in the United States that are using it? Right, yes. So we actually we focus on the food industry and fashion industry. We've started sales in Europe, which is the, the most advanced there. So uh, we have supermarket, we work with supermarket chains in the UK and in the Netherlands, with grains company, granola companies, granola bar companies, fashion companies like Stella McCartney. That's Here huge. in the US, we work with Gabriella Hearst, wonderful Gabriella Hearst, and, and, um, and Mara, Mara Hoffman, and, and other companies. So we have clients all over the world, uh, mainly in Europe and the US. It's amazing. And there's so much more to do. Um, are there other companies that are doing what you're doing? No. We, we focus on packaging and we solve the problem of packaging and we are pioneers in this. It's amazing. Do you feel like you're making an impact? Well, uh, yes, Sam, let me tell you one thing. Uh, the word tipa in Hebrew means a, dro a drop in English. A, a drop. drop. A mm -hmm. drop, right. Now, everyone is a drop. Um, the clients, the, the brands, the investors, every, every, every person can be ambassador for tipa. And that's another drop. And together, a drop and another drop and another drop, we make a clean ocean, right? So, and there's also a say in Hebrew that the tipa changes the rock, not because of its strength, but thanks to its uh, uh, persistency. And that's exactly what we do in tipa. Actually, we were recently nominated number 36 in the world to lead sustainable uh, change. Fantastic. And thank you. And, and that's what we do. And you know, I want everyone here to remember that this unique, wonderful technology is an Israeli technology that's right. that le actually leads the world and the packaging world into a better world. It's incredible. Then the bottom line is we all have a role to play and we right. can be contacting companies to ask them to use this type of product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Daphna, thank you so much for being thank here. You. What you have created is truly inspirational and we all appreciate you taking the time to be with us. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Daphna Niesenbaum. Thank you.